to encourage more girls to embrace science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM subjects, this program tagged Breaking the Bias in STEM was organized. My organization is veered at ensuring that we encourage young girls to take up STEM careers in future. We find that we have gender disparity when you come to STEM careers in Nigeria. And the essence of this program is to break that bias by encouraging young girls in public schools in other South communities to take up STEM careers. And we are starting first of all with a seminar where we call trailblazers in STEM. People like Dr. Tola Salau, Dr. Karin Chuku, a lot of people who are trailblazers in STEM to actually advise our young girls, um, give them inspiration, allow the students to learn from their own experiences and give them insights into how they can face the challenges in STEM. Speakers say STEM subjects are easy to learn, hence girls should pursue any career in the technology space. There's an interest in digital technologies and renewable energy. And as we continue to journey through the fourth industrial revolution, we'll see an increasing you know, demand for renewable sources of energy, such as solar, wind, geothermal, and there's also a lot of emphasis and interest in digital technologies. Um, and this is partly driven by the application of science and um, tech and innovation. I want to encourage you to be curious. I want you to ask questions. How? Why? You know, why does this happen? How does this happen? And I want you to note that sometimes the people that you're asking the questions may not always have the answers. And so it will be left to you to do your research, to be left to you to explore, to be left to you to experiment. The girls were advised to get mentors in STEM who they can look up to for motivation and inspiration. One of the things I said to the young ladies in there was about finding mentors, whether it was physical or virtual, people who believe and give them listening ears and boost and encourage them. I also spoke to them about the power of working with one another, the power of collaboration. And then I ended up with talking to them about finding their whys, finding their purpose for using STEM skills. I enjoined them to find challenges around them here in the Nigerian space and then decide on which of these challenges they wanted to solve and then use those STEM skills that they're going to gain from STEM to solve those challenges. The reason I brought these girls is just so that I can expose them to what it really means to be a STEMist, to be a girl who is, um, who is supposed to be equipped with 21st century skills that are life-changing. And now, principal of those skills are to be able to problem solve and then to be able to think critically. Right now, STEM is a male-dominated field. And so we are trying to see if, if we can get more girls having more interest in, in STEM and doing well. Not just having interest, but actually going there and doing excessively well in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and knowing that it's not only for, for the male population. With the people that I've met, the speakers, and people that have come to encourage us, um, I've been encouraged, enlightened, empowered, and what I've gained today is a lot, and I know that it's really going to impact so much in my life. I've been given a fighting spirit to learn more, to focus, to become someone in life. We have many speakers to teach us about how to make our future better. And we also thank the host and our school for bringing us here to grace this occasion. STEM will prepare students to constitute an effective workforce. It will equip them with the skills needed to excel in a rapidly changing technology-driven society.